Hello YouTubers, this is Skipazoa and I'm going to show you guys how to add music to your DSi. Uh, first you're going to need an SD card. Um, the DSi holds up to 32 gigabytes of uh, SDHC or SD. So you're pretty much set for life. Uh, it uses M4A format, so you're going to need a or video converter. Uh, audio converter. And I found a better one than Quick Media Converter uh, when it comes to this uh, type of thing, especially if you have a big bulk of music that you want to add. Um, so let's get started, uh, shall we? <coughs> First, I'm going to show you the formula real quick. Let me just position this, because now I can actually see without having to crowd up the whole desk, because now I got a flat panel. Yay. So now you go to play music. That's reading my card. I got a 4 gigabyte SD HC. Alright, now, if you notice, the way I did mine was, you're allowed to have 100 songs on the DSi as is. But, there's a way to get around to having all of your songs. Guys, I'm telling you, I have 1,063 uh, MP3s on here. And how you do this is you go, you make folders. Each folder is allowed to contain a hundred and something songs. Yeah. So that's a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. No. Not a hundred and something songs, a hundred songs each. So what I did was I made folders. Now, the only folder, I made them alphabetically. Um, because it's a lot easier to deal with. Like, if I come out with a song, let me show you exactly what I mean. Just, just move this camera up a little. And zoom in on that screen. Okay, now. If you see the way I have it, all my songs usually start with A or whatever. Uh, but the DSi doesn't read the file name as the file name. It reads it as whatever it is on the info. But as you can see, if, if I go through it, uh, you'll see a lot of, um, what you call it, a lot of them have the original file names. And it's really simple to do. Uh, it's time consuming, yes, yeah, not going to lie, but once it's done, it's a lot easier. And like I said, it you can put it in the, well you have to put it in the m 4 format. And the files on that format are very, very how do we say, small, a little smaller than MP3. Like I've had some 6 gigabyte, I uh, no, 6 megabyte songs become 3 megabyte songs. So from going from 4.25 4 gigabytes to 3.16 gigabytes uh, from MP3 to M4A, you can see there's a huge, huge difference. And I got like 3 songs, uh, 3 MP3s, or maybe 4 that are over an hour long. Uh, Carlo Mencia, War of the Worlds, uh, I can't forget a couple of else. And the sound quality is actually very good as well. Uh, let me bring it back down. Real quick, guys. And zoom out. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And I'm using the Jovi Gorilla Pod for this, and it's very helpful. Thank you, Jovi. I will be investing in another one. Uh, sorry for this light. Let me just switch this light off. Dee -dee 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 -dee. We don't need it right now. Okay, now this is going to be a two-part of video, guys, which is what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you a couple of uh, how good sound quality is on this one, and then uh, we'll go right to the computer. It might be a two-part, I don't know. So now let me show you the sound quality. This, this video recorder, or um, file converter, also uh, is able to normalize MP3s, or uh, converted files, to where if you have multiple um, volumes on each mp3, it'll make them, let's say, you can set it to 100% or lower, and it'll make it that all of them that one volume. I did all, uh, 100%, since I have a couple of low songs. But, here it is, here's one song.
So as you can see guys, it's it's good quality. I mean if you have headphones it sounds better on headphones. The DSI speakers weren't really meant for music playing uh, at all, obviously. Uh, you know, you do get a good sound out of them. I'm not gonna say that they're bad sounding speakers, but I mean a headphone is for the wind. Headphones are really for the wind for this. So there you go. So let's move on. Now I'm gonna switch that like that on. <coughs> So now what you're going to do is, make sure your DSi is powered off. And you see this little SD card slot right here? You might not be able to see it. Oh, you see that? Let's see if I can leave this slot here. There you go, that works. That sort of works. It works, okay. So I'm going to open this little slot. Now once you get it open, you don't pull this out, okay? You just tap the SD card. And I'm showing you guys this just because I know some of you just probably put an SD card in thinking, eh, music's going to be a pain in the cojones. Okay. So now you got to put this into an SD card reader. Either you have one built into your computer, or you have one into your printer that's connected to your computer, like so. Or whatever. So I will see you guys on the computer. And we will be going over how to do it, and I'll be showing you all the software. Toodles! Okay, hello YouTubers. Uh, we're back on my computer now. Like I said, this may be a two-parter, just so I don't have to cut so many stuff. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you my SD card first. Uh, as you can see, I renamed it NDSI. I suggest formatting it first before you start. And what you have here is... Uh, all the files that you just seen on the DSi. DCIM is the DSi's camera and private is... I have no idea what private is, but I was on the DSi. Uh, the old 2 gigabyte <coughs> SD card that I was using before this. So let me show you how much space is. This. Here we go, look at this. 500 and something megabytes free of 3.67 gigabytes. Okay, so you got uh, space used 3.17 gigabytes. Now you take a little of this off. The 17 is from the picture than whatever else the DSi on has on there. You remove all that, and I have about 3.15 gigabytes of music. So there you go. So let me show you guys real quick the big difference. Now I have all my music on here. Uh, I'll show you really. Now look, 3.27 gigabytes down to 3.15 gigabytes so that's really really good um so here's a program i use da -da 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 -da. where is it it's called uh switch audio converter it's from the same people nch software who does debut or who made debut thank you very much nch uh and they really do did a good job with this to convert it too. Quick media converter was not able to convert even uh, not even uh, fifty of my songs uh, out of the one thousand sixty three uh, MP3s uh, in which I had. It got to maybe one of the C's, and then it started causing errors in FFMEG, whatever caused an error and stopped working and so on and so forth. And it's, what I like about this, though, is it's strictly for the audio. It has a lot of audio formats you can uh, record to or convert to. And, you know, you don't have to buy any special codecs. You can reconvert to MP3 again if you wanted to. Uh, for sound files that you're downloading or for YouTube, I would still I would rather use um, Audacity. Uh, because you can edit it and then have the lossless converter or the lame con uh, lame driver convert it into mp3 for you so I would rather use that guys but just to convert all mp3s into N m4a uh, for your what you might call it uh, DSI I would I would recommend this it did all 1063 songs in less than maybe three hours and that was mainly due to the fact that I also had it doing some special operations on the side.